Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about what you might need as a fishing coach in your boat to help your anglers succeed in a tournament. Okay, so maybe this is your first time ever coaching. Maybe you just help out once in a while with a local team and you're not sure what you need in your boat. Or possibly you are a coach and you're not sure what you should have in the boat to help out the, the fishermen. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is a bump board. Bump boards come in lots of different sizes and varieties. It's really important because the tournaments you're gonna be fishing in, there's gonna be a minimum size for the bass. So let's say it's a 12 inch minimum, you need to have a solid, reliable bump board that's gonna tell you whether that fish is gonna measure. And if you are wrong, there's a, usually a huge penalty at most of these events if you come in with a short fish. This one is by Frable, goes up to 22 inches, which is probably more than you need for a, for a bass tournament. I also have this one from Rapala. This one folds out because I do some musky fishing, so this goes all the way to 60 inches, and I can also use it for walleye trips. So this is a, another useful tool. Another thing you should have is some kind of a calling system. And the calling system I have right here is from Cal Coast. I did an entire video on the new rules about non-puncture call tags. So these do not penetrate through the lining of a fish's mouth. And that's the new rule that's being implemented, implemented all over the country. So there's lots of different uh, varieties. I think this one's the best. I've actually researched all of them. And this one, I actually had a, an eight pound musky hanging from this just to see if it would work and it did. And you can, I'll have that video linked below if you wanna watch that. And it explains everything about the non-call. Um, so you're gonna need this to mark your fish. And in most tournaments you're gonna fish, you can have five fish in the live well at any one time. This system comes with a sixth one. So if you know you get to that sixth one, okay, I need to call one of those fish out. So again, the Calcoast non-call or non-puncture calling system. Another thing you're gonna need for your tournaments would be a culling beam. This one is by Luz. Again, there's many, many companies that make these. And basically, if I'm culling just ounces, I'm not going to rely on my scale because the scale could be off by a little bit. I'm going to actually put them on this balance beam and whichever one's weighing a little bit heavier, that one's going back in the live well, the lighter one's going to go back in the lake. This is really a handy tool and a lot of times these tournaments come down to ounces. Uh, so having a culling beam that's reliable is a good thing to have if you're a fishing coach. Another thing you should have as a fishing coach would be a good reliable scale. I like this Rapala high contrast 50 pound scale that they just came out with last year. Um, first of all, you can see it really easily in the light, but more importantly, it has bins. I have an entire video on this and I'll link that below as well if you, if you wanna watch the video. But the bins are important because, uh, let's say I, on call tag one, that fish weighs two pounds, I'll put that in bin one. And then in bin two, I'll have call tag two, and let's say that's a pound and a half and so on. Once I fill up my, my limit, once I get my fifth fish, I'll know which fish is my lightest. So let's say I, we catch a sixth fish and call tag two is that pound and a half fish. Well, I know I need to get rid of this green buoy with number two on it, and I'll replace that with hopefully a bigger fish. So a reliable scale is gonna help you. The call beam is when it comes down to ounces and I'm not gonna rely on a 1.4 pound fish versus a 1.5. I'm gonna put them on the beam just to make sure. Uh, 
Another thing as a fishing coach I like to bring with is a hook sharpener. Most of my fishermen that, that I share the boat with, the high school fishermen, do not have hook sharpeners. And a, a, a true little story for you, a few years back we were fishing the, the BASS Midwest Open at Clinton Lake. And I had a really good fisherman in my boat and uh, we pre-fished for a few days and he was on a really good shaky head bite. And on the day of the tournament, he lost a fish, it wasn't a big fish on the shaky head, didn't think much of it. Later on, he lost about a four pounder on that same shaky head. And it occurred to me, that's the same shaky head that he had been using most of the spring. And the hook simply was not sharp. And that's, I fault myself as a coach, I should have reminded my, my student to sharpen his hooks. Um, anyway, long story short, we came in with four bass, finished 11th in that Midwest Open out of, I think there were 70 boats from eight different states. Um, and had we caught that four pounder, we would have been in the top five or six, which would have qualified us to the national championship down in Kentucky Lake that year. So hook sharpener, have one in the boat and use it. I would always check my fishermen's uh, hooks now. I always check them against my thumbnail to see if they kind of bite in a little bit. If they do, then they're good to go. Another thing as a fishing coach that you should always have is some needle nose pliers. Uh, the students really should have all these things in their tackle box, but you can't assume that they're gonna. So for uh, being able to get hooks out very quickly and easily, I actually have a pair of these in the, uh, the deck of my boat and I've got another set by the cockpit or by the uh, council. So I've got pliers. In addition to that, I carry actually three um, different uh, snips or uh, line cutters in my boat. I've got two up in the bow, one at the council. Most of the students do bring theirs, but again, you never know if they're going to uh, have those, so you can't rely on them remembering to bring everything. So some useful tools for you for to have in a boat as a fishing coach. I have more tips, but you can read about those on our website. It's highschoolfishingcentral.com, and you can read about all these tips plus more that I think every single fishing coach should have in their boat. In, the, in addition to that, on that same website, I have an article about the non-puncture rule, how it came about, um, why are we going to this, and I actually review several different calling systems in that article. So again, that's highschoolfishingcentral.com. Please hit like and subscribe and share these videos with your friends. Thanks for watching.